Hey everybody, it's Vicki. I've been out of pocket for a while. This is the makings of a new project and it is fixing to go in the washing machine. Okay, and I will be back. First thing I'm going to do is some modeling paste. Now, if I wanted to cover, good, still good. Thank you, you deco art. Okay, radiant gel. Come on, there. I don't want to. I want to color this, but I don't want to color it with anything that's got a whole lot of water in it, because it will affect the consistency of the modeling paste. Okay, now I'm just going to put this bronze color over this stencil. And y'all have heard me preach at you before, so what do you do when you've got modeling paste on a stencil besides get your knife up underneath it? First thing you do when you get finished is go wash off your stencil. Because it will ruin it. Now how's that for coming up with the perfect amount? I tell you. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Isn't that an advertising song? Okay, now wipe off the stuff off the palette knife cool perfect color now let's see if we can just get some of the extra off and as usual I have no plan but so you can make it easier for y'all to see this time I'm going to mix in this little it's a packaging of some sort I usually try to keep a couple of these laying around just for this purpose okay this modeling paste again and this time I'm going to what am I going to do This is Primary Elements Indian Copper. That's apropos, don't you think? So what I'm going to do is just put... I'm going to put one, one of the female figures right here. I'm going to add just a little bit of black emerald. Remember, I said I'm making this up as I go along. Okay, now I'm going to do another one of my. I'm going to do this one. Move her up a little bit. I'm trying to mix some of the first color. I didn't mix those within an inch of their lives. If you will not get in the habit of just mixing and mixing and mixing, you'll end up with color variations that you can't plan. See how I'm getting some of the dark color all through the body. This time I'm using Color Art Primary Elements Emperor's Gold. 
we're just going to work with this all <clears throat> fake. What I'm looking at is this is squared off on the top and the bottom, and I thought it would be nice to have one that was where they end, but I think I can fake it. And this is so close to the same color as the leather, and that's perfect because I don't want any of this to jump in your face. The success to a good piece of artwork is making people want to look at it over and over because they see something different every time. Now my second mixture was a little bit lighter in color and that's fine because it just creates a little bit of depth. Just let these things happen. Alrighty. Now we're going to use a stencil and some of the new Vivid Ultra Italics. I've got a T90 stencil brush here. Pounce off most of what you have on the brush and then pounce up and down. The secret to a good stencil is having just the barest amount of paint. If you get too much paint, it will go underneath and give you a blurry edge. I keep looking because I want them to look like water drops. And they do. If you leave out too much of the shape of the water drop, it won't look like a water drop. Now let's scoot this down just a little and pick up a couple. Voila. The Vivid Ultra Metallic is super metallic. This, um, this video is part of a hop for color art products. And a group of us got together to do this and use the color art products. And each of the videos is limited to 10 minutes. And if you go through the rotation, by following the first name on your list every time you go to watch a new video just drop down in the description box and follow the <clears throat> next name the top name on the list leave a comment please leave a comment we love them that's what motivates us to keep going keep doing this and giving you free content cost you nothing except a little bit of your time and we really, really do appreciate the comments. But, in addition, there is a grand prize drawing with color art materials. So you've got everything to gain and nothing to lose. Capiche? Capiche. Okay. Okay. I think that was my public service announcement. We're going to go with Dragon Gold. Just a little different color. Oh, oh, Brrr. that looks yummy. Looks like it has some blue in it. A little secret about me I'm not crazy about warm colors. Oranges, yellows, and reds. They're alright in moderation, but most of the time they're used way too strong, way too much. I should say I'm sensitive to hot colors. So y'all know what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to watch every video, leave a comment, about how much you 
like what we did or ask a question and that will enter you into a drawing to win some of these color art paints and believe you me it's worth it support your local artist some of us have Patreon accounts or tip jars on YouTube and you think about how many times you've sat and watched 30 minutes someone tell you their every secret and how much you would love to keep that content free tell us send us a dollar you know we're not expensive we're not high maintenance I'm using a stick because you can't really predict what's going to happen when you squeeze a bottle direct onto your work, so I just put a little stick. Archival Ink Micron, and I believe this might be a purple. So all we're doing is creating an illusion. You're not giving them the entire plot of your story. You're giving them the illusion of your story and encouraging them to fill in the blanks as it suits the viewer. And that's my project for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now I'm going back to my blankie in my chair. Over and out.